go in, they are not satisfied with at least the little gesture that the person did. They want more, they are not getting it. And then, <laughs> I think, and yeah, I actually, and the last one's of peer, peer pressure, yeah, peer yeah. influence. You know, we are in a, a, a stage, you know, we are in, in, the, in a time where we are being motivated by others, mm-hmm. right? It's maybe because somebody, I mean, got this, I mean, this, you know, dating this person, yeah. I mean, I also, by all means, mm-hmm. have to mm-hmm. be dating this mm-hmm. person. Uh, I think that is also one of the causes that push people in the mm-hmm. And even social media mm-hmm. is one the of pressure. Our, the pressure from social media is one of the things. Yeah. So, would you say that we that the people who are obsessed with, are we also like a catalyst? Are we also a cause to this whole problem? Sometimes, I think so. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, we, we can be. Like like I said, how can we be there? Like a assuming, assuming like mine, as well as your pattern is clear, but it can, can be a cause ignorantly or maybe uh, sometimes to know me for your own desires also. For example, uh, as soon as you don't know um, that these are signs of obsession. That's why I even do this. As soon as I don't know the sign of obsession, and let's say I meet a lady and she begins to show these signs from the start, and I don't know, then I can easily not lead, I mean, lead her on by responding to all her calls, even at I mean, all times, all times, trying to, I mean, be yeah, there, be there for her, and then like when I'm doing that, then I'm trying to find I'm feeding the obsession. I'm feeding the obsession. And the more I feed her, the more she mm-hmm. wants more. The more she she wants to eat mm-hmm. more. So you see, that, that is it. So that's ignorance. Yeah. But then sometimes some people also um some way somewhere they can say they don't really like this person or for a start. They don't want to be in relation with the person. Yeah. But they like certain things. The person is doing. Yeah, so so maybe for what they like, they try to keep. Mm-hmm. Not with a bad intention though. I don't really understand my point. Yeah, As you know, let's say, uh, there's a, a lady who is at mine in a way. Yeah. Okay? Not really, I don't, not really, I don't, I don't really want to settle with her. Yeah. But um, I feel like there's something that she does. Maybe, maybe she cooks yeah. well, so I enjoy her food. Yeah. So because of the cooking, that, uh, the food I'm getting, I try to keep her around. But she is obsessed with me. But she's you. obsessed with okay. me. And maybe I've seen this sign. But I'm like, oh, this this lady, I mean, I'm getting something. Let me just. Do, do, do this just, what you got in the corner. Let me just keep her. Yeah. So I get some food to eat. And you are thinking that like, in the end, you're able to, like, to, I mean, cut off. Cut off. Uh, uh, this is selfishness. Yeah. So that means that sometimes. Sometimes we. Like, sometimes we. Like, like, to bear like, I mean, why you cut off? Like, 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 you know that I I'm not tired of you. No, I'm not tired of you. No, I'm not tired of you. So, you Output, your work output, and then 
probably you would want to put your phone off. Mm, and people need to get the touch and with you. Maybe that particular point in time there will be a serious connection with all that will help your life. Like, maybe your husband cries because you text me that. I know, right? I know. Probably the first time you are the one you are your know? Similar, I mean, the same because I think the same thing. Your peace of mind, you get, you, you get to sometimes work. You get any place, you get to work yeah, by a person yeah. also. Because you're like, ah, it's like a good place to exactly. So you're like, ah, how can you turn out bad? Just, yeah. See, yeah, you let's, let's just work. Mm. And it, it's time consuming also. It's time consuming. And then sometimes too, it, it can lead to depression. Yeah. Even to you, the one that's been upset. Yes, because when you are thinking, the more you are worrying, when you are thinking, it can be depressed. You understand? Yeah. And sometimes you can easily, you don't know your world, you don't know who you are, mm-hmm. you can feel like you're a bad person. Yeah. You understand? You feel like you're a bad person, and then uh, maybe you have caused this mm-hmm. thing to this person. So you begin to blame yourself. You, you understand? So, and I, I think, I also think that when, when you are being obsessed on, you can also make wrong decisions. Let's say a guy is obsessed with me, I'm like, okay, let me just hire him me a cat or maybe if I do this, it's going to end there. Mm-hmm. So maybe sexually, someone if I even need to do the sexual violations and all. Yeah, it's fair. Because I'm thinking, okay, maybe if I just need to do like once, he will just leave me alone and like I'll just get rid of it because you are you are worried about the person, the person is well being. So I think it's can also go to exactly. can that go, can go that far. Yeah. Can go that far. Okay, so what are the effects of the one that is obsessing on the you are like, the one that you are with somebody. What, what are some of the effects on you? It might maybe be depression or something like that. You know what I mean? Kind of suicide. Yeah, kind of suicide. Kind of suicide. Kind of kind of Low self esteem can lead to that. And then you can get it as a result of that. I think I think I agree with that. Like, before sometimes, sometimes before somebody become obsessed, mm. they feel like they're not maybe handsome enough or beautiful mm. enough. Okay? So they, they want this one at all because they want to lose this one. Yeah. But after being obsessed too, you can lose your self esteem. Yeah. You can fall yeah. to that level. Because like, like this what's person wrong is with not, me? what's wrong with me? This person is not yeah. I mean I might but not. But all the things I'm not for this person, like what's the person doing this to me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm a
if you are not interested in where I'm going or you are not in a position to go with me, then I can't go. Mm-hmm. And then, and that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's how that's how they come to say. That's not how it's with me. Like, I, 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 I have, have to try to find similar, but that's mm-hmm. not it. Because that's like, I have to, like, something and be back. <laughs> yeah. Every time. And you have to be with me all the time. Yeah. And if you have to be somewhere that yeah. I can't go with you, you not then you are not going. Uh, not going. That's it. It doesn't make sense. Some way, some how. <laughs> so, do you think that obsession can be controlled? And in what ways can be controlled? I think the one who is obsessed with something can control yes. himself. I know, but how to control obsession? Right? The one that's already happening. The one that's already happening. The one who's already being obsessed with someone. Like I said earlier in the previous video, you don't have to cut the person off. Okay, but normally you minimize the things that you do with the person. And the one, the one who is obsessing on somebody will have to understand what the person is feeling. Okay, I'm obsessed with George. I have to understand myself now. Mm-hmm. What am I feeling? What at all do I need from George? When I get to that point, even if I'm not getting it, I'll start to write in my diary. This is my feeling. Mm-hmm, I need George. <laughs>
share my 